Get out of the infirmaries and on to the battlefields. Get out of the infirmaries and onto the battlefield. Infirmatory or infirmary is where people will go. It's like a hospital. It's a place where you go when you're sick. It's a place that you go when you're not feeling well, when you need care, a, t a place of healing. But some of you, you've been there too long. You're fine. You are well and able to get up. But you're used to being in this type of environment. You know, a lot of times, unless you have some sort of long-term illnesses, hospitals, as I've worked in it, they want to get you in and out. If you're getting better and you're getting your therapy and things of that nature, they, they very rarely want to keep you there. Because when you become better and if you are just sitting in a hospital for a long time, you're more susceptible to get sick again or be worse when you don't need to stay there that long if we can get you in and out then that's what we're going to try to do but of course giving you the best possible care what do you have where people they are sort of hypochondriacs they like to fake illnesses and they like medication they like to come in and all these things and people want to always be admitted to the hospital they are actually in danger of of getting something that they didn't have before because there are other people, other sick people there. And while the hospital has all sorts of measures for cleaning and keeping it, uh, uh, making it where it's safe and decreasing germs, if you're well, why are you there? Why do you stay there longer than you need to? Our battle is against flesh and blood. I'm sorry, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world. Spiritual wickedness in high places. This is in um, Ephesians 6. The battle is for our soul. Satan hates us. He hates us because we are God's creation. And we're given an opportunity that he had but blew. He was already there with God. He's blown it. And now him and the fallen angels that are underneath him, their thing is to trip us up and to keep us um, in a place of being blinded, being caught up in this world. And so as believers of the Lord, we are in a battle, okay? We're not going around looking for drama and looking for things, but you're in a battle. When you're a child of God, people are going to oppose you. People are going to think you're crazy. That's your battle. Other places people are being killed. That's their battle. Other places people are being scorned. They're losing family. They're losing friends. All these different things, right? But as we follow after God and realize that we can't approach these things that come to us, the actual spiritual attack, if we try to look at the person, the situation, and go against it in the natural, then we're going to get tripped up. But here's the thing that I want to talk to you about. Where are the soldiers of the Lord? We're in the army of the Lord. Well, there are many of God's children that are in the infirmary. They want to go, they want to rest, they want to relax, they want to take a break. And I'm not talking about resting time with God. They're in a place they were hurt and God has healed them, but they don't want to get up. God, I want to stay here. I don't want to do anything else. So they want to stay in a place of continue to bind my wounds, Lord, even though your wounds are healed. Continue to let me cry, Lord, when God has spoken to you and he's strengthened you and he's given you all you need to be strong to go back on the battlefield and to go out there with your fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord and to, and to go out there and to continue to seek and to save the lost by preaching the gospel to those who will hear it. But many of God's children are in the infirmaries. They're in the infirmaries of unforgiveness. Oh, I know that this is wrong, but I don't want to get better. I don't want to forgive people. Not your way, God. I want to do it my way. I'll forgive them, but I'll never forget. I'll forgive them, but I'll never do this and I'll never do that. I don't want to apologize. So you remain sick and feeble. You're in the infirmary. All you're on is milk. 
God has given you the meat of the word. You want to know that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Yay! Yes, he loves you, but he's also got a severity. That's the, the meat of the word. Yes, he loves you, but he hates sin. But many people want to stay in the, Jesus loves me, infirmary. So no matter what I do, Jesus loves me. Yeah, I'm sleeping with him. Jesus loves me. I hate her. Jesus loves me. Yeah, I'm Netflixing and chilling. Jesus loves me. But you're refusing to be healed from what is actually a stronghold. And you're getting the meat that tells you that the wages of sin is death. But you don't want that. I don't want that, God. I want to stay right here. I want to stay sick. I want to keep being a fornicator. I want to keep being an adulterer. I want to keep being a liar. I want to keep being a person who's hard in my heart. I want to keep being a racist. I want to keep being an adulterer. I want to keep being wishy-washy. I want to be the lukewarm church. I, I, I just want to be this. And even though you've been given truth, and you've been given the word, and you've been given uh the doses of grace and mercy and forgiveness and the truth and the truth and the truth. That means you know the truth. You are well enough to walk out of this infirmary. But you don't want to. I don't want to go on the battlefield. I don't want to do all these things. God, I just want to, I just want to stay here. Take care of me, Jesus. Take care of me, God. Let me not be accountable for anyone or anything. Let me continue to believe. Please continue to give me the pacifier of you love me. Let me continue to believe what I want to believe. I want to stay in the, infir in the infirmary, but I don't want to grow. I don't want to go on the battlefield. Don't you know to be filled with God's knowledge? To be filled with his spirit and to know the truth and to choose not to know the truth brings deadly spiritual consequences. There are many people who are walking in Romans chapter 1, I believe, where it talks about where they know the truth. And they hold, hold the truth in unrighteousness. Like they know what's right. That's why you must be so careful of people that know the Bible and know the word that still want to sin. Oh, they, 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 oh, they got some for you. They, they can counter and counter and counter because Satan knows the word. Satan was able to, to give God word in Matthew chapter four. He knows word. He's been in the presence of the Lord. Job 1 shows you how he was in the presence of the Lord. Different areas of the Bible would tell you how he, he was among the stones and the most holies of holy. So yeah, he's going to be able to have a good banter with you in the word. And so you'll find that in those people that want to stay in the infirmary. The infirmary of being they don't want accountability. They don't want responsibility. They don't want to, they don't want to walk in. Basically, I don't want to take up my cross and follow you. I want to stay here and be taken care of and be prayed over and everyone's fasting for me and everybody's feeling sorry for me again. And I'm just, I'm not going to take up my bed and walk. I'm not going to rise. I'm not going to stretch forth my hand and stretch forth my withered hand so it can be made whole. And then when God has fixed my withered hand or when he's put the strength, strength back in my legs and when the blinders have been dropped from my eyes and when the, the 
the stoppers, my ears are opened up and now I can hear and my tongue has been loosened. I find that now that I can be discharged onto the battlefield to help those around me, oh, I think I need to stay another week in the infirmary. And so there are many of God's children that are in the infirmaries and fully capable. And you will find that as they continue to stay there, they begin to go back to the old stuff and the old ways and the old thinking. And the blinders come back on and the, the ears stopped up again and the tongue cannot be free again. And the, the legs are, are, are sick again and, and the arms become withered again. Why? Did God not save me? He did. But the darkness in you has put you in chains. And the truth is, you are whole. You are healthy. But you just like being in the infirmary. Time to get on the battlefield. Your brothers and sisters in Christ are on the battlefield walking boldly, speaking the word of God boldly. They are withstanding being shunned and being rejected and being killed and being ostracized and being castigated all for the glory of God. And some of them are carrying your weight, but because the ministering angels of God are with them, they are fighting alongside of them, but you should have been out there. Don't think that you can jump in at any time. That's not going to happen. By the time you want to jump in, you'll find that you have known just the old routines and the old techniques, the old ways that we do battle while all along we've been moving with the Lord and staying in the presence of the Lord. And so therefore, as we are in his presence, we are transformed and we are being transcended through the Lord to higher levels and higher heights. So we know how to fight on higher levels in Christ, regardless of what comes on to us while you just trotting out of the infirmary. And you just know that that one move, but that one move will not be enough to protect you from the dark forces, the spiritual wickedness in high places that Ephesians 6 speaks about. Because while you're sitting in the infirmary, they're out on the battlefield. Not caring about defeat, not caring if even though they know what their end will be. They're still fighting. I hear the Lord saying to get out of the infirmaries and on the battlefields. Turn back to him. Whether or not you fight, you will be, you will be affected by the battle. Whether or not you choose to take a side, you have taken a side by choosing not to take a side. And the side that you are not is on God's side. If you choose not to fight, you choose not to grow and continue to walk in an infancy stage when God is trying to show you something different. All right, guys.